Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another Elementor Design related tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create a custom section like this. So, we can create a custom section for our product or e commerce website, or we can apply the same process for any website. So here I have take a simple two column section and here is some title text subtitle and also here is the shop now button and on the right side here will be our product image and in the bottom area I have added three circles for color for example when I click on this blue icon so it's changing the images that's cool by the way, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the Elementor Pro version. So if you still did not get Elementor Pro, I'll leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there. And if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section so I'll make more tutorial like this. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get it started. First I am taking a new section and here if I check the design so this will be a two column structure and left side will have the title text, a small title text, a button and on the right side will be our image and then in the bottom area here will be some icons for color changing. Alright so now I am going to create a two column structure and now for this section from the left side height i am setting the height to mean height and vh for now i am making it to 100 so the minimum height will be the screen size and also changing the background color to black so going to style tab and background type here i am setting the color to this black color and now here I'm taking a title text so this will be heading and I'm changing this text to best summer item and now we can set the HTML tag to anything for now going to style tab and changing the color to white and going to typography changing the font family to Playfair display and text transform to capitalize then font weight making it to 400 or we can make it to 600 and now changing the font size sorry my text is not showing and now increasing the size and decreasing the line height so going to line height and making it to 1 em or 1.1 yeah looks good and now going to add another title taking another heading text and this time going to copy this text and going to style tab before that from here is html tag i'm changing it to p and going to style tab changing this color to white or little gray and going to typography changing the font family to poppins and size like that and font weight making it to lightweight 100 and text transform to capitalize yeah all is good and now finally going to add the button so going to add this button and here changing the text to shop now and here going to button style changing the color button background color making it to transparent and border type I'm adding a solid border border width 1 pixel and border radius making it to 0 and also the border color making it to white looks good and for the font here i'm again going to the typography i'm adding letter spacing one pixel and here i'm going to add some 
in trends animation so when our page will load how these items will come so going to advance and going to motion effect going to entrance animation you can set it like that slide in left and also for the first one going to motion effect entrance animation we can set light speed in or we can change it yeah slide left and also for this one fade right so it's little bit different and now here you can add some spacing between each item so for that going to edit column and here is widgets spacing we can make it to 40 or 30 yeah looks good and here above the button you can add some more spacing from advanced margin making it to unlink and for top adding mode 20 and we can add some hover effect with this button so from motion effect going to mouse effect or from style tab going to hover and hover animation i'm selecting the bob so on hover it's just jumping a bit all right so left side is done and now for the right side i'm going to add image so first click on here and from the left side taking this image module and going to add our first image so first i'm going to add this one i have already uploaded some images for shoes so you can add any image as you want and now below this image i'm going to create these circles with this text so for that here i'm going to add a inner section click on here and taking a inner section and on the left side i'm going to add this text select color and here i'm taking the heading widgets for the left side and changing our text changing the html tag to paragraph and making the alignment to the right side going to style tab changing this color to white and from typography we can increase the font size from content making the alignment to the right side and here i'm going to add some circle icon so first here i'm taking a button widgets i'm removing this text and now we can add a icon for circle and here if i search for circle we can take this one and now going to style tab for padding we can make the padding to 5 and or we can make the padding to 0 and the button background color we can make it to transparent and here we can increase the icon size so for that if i go to the typography and changing the font size so it's changing the icon size i'm making it to 22 or you can set 24 yeah looks good and here i'm making the width to inline so going here from advanced going to positioning and width from here making it to inline and here i'm changing this color to this red color so going to style tab again and changing the text color from here to this red color and now in the similar way i'm going to duplicate this icon and here i'm changing this color going to style tab and this time i'm taking the blue color and duplicate one more time and changing the color i'm taking the yellow or golden color yeah i'm taking this 
and here we can increase the spacing between this icon so for that simply click on the first one from advanced for margin making it to unlink on right side I'm adding 10 pixel or you can try the 5 pixel and also for the second one going to advance from margin for the right side adding 5 and here we need to set the vertical align to the same line so again going to the edit column from the left side and vertical align if I set the middle yeah looks good so we can keep it like that and finally save our page and now I'm going to add the entrance and hover animation for the right side image so going here going to advance and motion effect for entrance we can add the fade in effect and going to the style tab on hover we can set the same animation as bob and finally i'm checking the responsive view for this layout so from bottom left corner responsive mode checking the tablet here i need to change the font size so going to style tab and changing it to 70 or 80 and also for this font size all is good and going for the phone view changing this font size you can make it to the 55 or 65 yeah looks good and also for this one making it to 18 and we can decrease the spacing so going to edit column and with just spacing we can make it to 0 or 10 yeah 20 is good and also for this button going to advance making it to 0 yeah looks good and now for this column going here and making the column width to 50 and also another one making it to 50 and now going to add some padding for overall section so going to edit column from advance for padding making it to unlink and for top adding 50 or 70 for top and bottom and also for left and right we can add 10 pixel looks good and finally save it and going back to the desktop again and finally I'm going to add some CSS and JS code to create this color effect so for that I have already created all these in step by step to my website so I will leave this page link in my description you will get it from there so the first step we need to add this class name for all images so here we need to add two class names. first one is the common class name and the second one will be specific for each item for example I'm going to copy the first class name and now from here for this image going to advance and CSS classes I'm adding this class name so first one is peak and the second class name is peak one and now in the similar way I'm going to duplicate this image and changing this image to a another one I'm taking this blue color shoes and now from advance I'm changing this peak one to peak two and again going to duplicate from advance and here pick 3 and changing this image and also I need to add attribute name to our icons so going to copy the first one going here from advance if I scroll down here you can see the attributes name and here I need to set the custom attribute for this first icon so our attribute name is 
data class and pick one and in the similar way for the second one from advanced and attributes here i am adding the class name to two and similarly for the third one from advanced and attributes i am changing the pick to three all right and saving it now if i go here and scroll down here i need to add the css code to our section so going to copy all this code and now going to edit section from advanced if i scroll down here is the options custom css and now from here i'm going to paste it and now we can see here by default all images will be hide and also here i have add a css for transform so it will be also rotated by 20 degree and by default the first image will show only and here we can see the icon is overlapping with the image so here we can move down our text so going to edit inner section and from advanced we can add some top margin so making it to unlink and for top adding 50 or 60 yeah looks good we can keep it and finally i need to add some js code so now let's go ahead to copy all this js code and now if i search for code and here i'm taking this html widget inside our page to anywhere for example if i take here and now i'm going to add our js code so first i need to create the script tag and closing it and inside this script tag i'm going to paste all this code and these widgets will show only on the builder mode but it will not show in our page view for now i'm just saving it and now if i go to the preview changes and now if i click on this blue icon you can see our image is changing and also to the another icon cool so following this process we can make any image changing effect with any icon or any text so that's all for today in the next video i will show you how you can create the full layout or this full section inside a custom slider so we are done for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video